Hey, Sofrito lovers, this is Ben Ramos bringing you another mukbang from my palatial home here in the Northwest Bronx. The Bronx is the home of hip hop and salsa. I'm bringing you some soup and salad, mi gente. Some soup and salad. Look, look, look. A nice ensaladita. Can you guys see a nice little salad? We've got winter greens, tomatoes, cucumbers, avocado, and red onion. And I'm giving you guys tonight a steak ramen look a steak ramen let me i it's got a lot of broth i don't want to spill it steak ramen so what is steak ramen i kind of created it. i had some leftover steak with onions red and green peppers and mushrooms and i had a ramen packet and some ramen noodles and i decided let's do this squid game style let's put together something interesting for you guys so um, the steak is palomilla, those uh, very thin, thin uh, steak strips. Uh, palomilla is a very, very Latin American type of steak. <laughs> it's, it's a weird way of saying it, but it's a, a steak that we tend to eat a lot of. Mmm. Mmm. It's a little chewy because it's from last night. Look, I had leftover steak from last night. I had some great steak sandwiches last night. So I mixed it with a ramen packet. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. To be specific, a ramion, ramion packet. It's Korean ramen. So... I put this together for you guys. Some salad from yesterday as well. This is almost like a revamped leftovers from mukbang. Steak ramen and some delicious salad. Mira, 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 mira esto. Oh my God. Mmm. So frito lovers, I am I'm starving. Forgive me if I don't speak. But I'm hitting the salad first because the soup I just got off the stove and it is hotter than the surface of the sun. So I'm hitting some salad. I know salad mugmongs are not popular, but listen, bear with me, okay? You're gonna see a lot of salads on this channel. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my health. Uh, some of you know I'm diabetic. Uh, met with the endocrinologist. You know, kind of endocrinologists are kind of like diabetes doctors, but they also do a lot of other things. But their specialties happen to be diabetes as well. Things are not good, Sofrito Lovers. Mm. I gotta work on controlling my blood sugar eating healthier watching my carb intake because my blood sugar is not good and my heart my kidneys and my thyroid are all being affected so Your boy has to do good. Your boy has to do better. So, I'm going to work on doing better. Portion control. Trying to watch what I eat. Right now, I'm getting my, my blood sugar stabilized. This ramen packet isn't too carby. I didn't use the entire ramen disc. Only half. So, um... I haven't eaten for a few hours, which is also kind of bad. I need to eat on a more regularized schedule. So, you know, I am starving Marvin. Mm. Oh, these ramen noodles are amazing. Guys, I just took a ramen soup. I put a little bit of the soup base in and I just threw in the steak, peppers and onions that I made from last night. 
And I'm sorry, but this ramen is better than anything I've ever had. Mmm. Mmm. Soup, salad. Mmm. Again, the steak is a little chewy. Palomilla is one of those cuts of steak that can be very fatty. You usually get it and you pound it to make it even flatter than it already is. And then you season it. And then when it's time to sear it, it's so flat that you just throw it on a hot, a hot grill or a hot skillet. And you're like, sizzle, 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 sear. Turn it around, sizzle, 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 sear. You're good. But because I didn't flatten it out more, I had to cook it a little bit more. So there was some parts that were a little chewier than others. I'm not a big steak eater. Believe it or not, I'm more of a pork chicken guy. You guys know me. I'm, I'm far more into pork and chicken than I am into red meat. Um, and I'm not the biggest steak fan, which drives some people crazy because people, you know, they love steak. I like pollo. I like carne de cerdo better. I'd rather eat pernil than steak any day. It's just me. Uh, more ramen noodles. Look. Mm. Pero, the steak is not bad. I boil the water, put in some of the ramen soup base, like half. Mm. I feel it now because this ramen is shin ramen and it's a little spicy, but I only put half the packet and then I put the whole steak. I made like three steaks last night, two steaks. I say three because that second, the one that I ate was so big, I cut it into two. A lot of, lot of protein to fill up my tummy. But this one, I lo piqué, I cut it. Mm. I cut it. I threw it into the boiling water, mixed it all up, and uh, made myself a Puerto Rican steak slash Korean ramen, steak ramen mix with some salad. Mmm. Counting the carbs, my blood sugar has been pretty good the last two weeks. I found out two weeks ago I wasn't doing too well. I saw my endocrinologist yesterday, but she and I communicated two weeks ago where she was like, danger, danger, things are not good. And I was like, okay, I'm going to see her in two weeks. Let me modify my lifestyle. Notice I didn't say diet because I can't do diets. But I changed the lifestyle a little bit. And she noticed that, that the blood sugar has been pretty good for the last two weeks. But two weeks of good blood sugar doesn't make up for the period of time that I haven't been doing well. And that's why my kidneys have damage and my thyroid has to be examined. And they are concerned about my heart as well. Because when your thyroid is not good, usually heart issues are linked. Because, you know, the thyroid regulates all the hormones and all that good stuff. So I've got some work I have to do. So get used to seeing more salads in, in my mukbangs. Get used to seeing low-carb meal, low-carb, <laughs> low-carb, what the hell is that? Low-carb meals. I don't want, I know people that have died of diabetes and have passed on because of diabetic related, diabetic related um, diseases and com um, complications. And I'd rather not be one of those people. Oh my God. That's see, I, again, I use half of the seasoning packet and really just through the steak in there with the veggies and all that. So the steak has imparted a lot of flavor because I well seasoned the steak. And the shin ramen packet gives it a little bit of heat, just a small little touch of heat. Oh my God. Este invento está bueno. This was a good, good little hack. Next time I have leftover steak, I'm making another leftover ramen. Oh, I wonder how good this would be if it was leftover grilled chicken or leftover pernil. Oh my God. 
I bet it would be beyond good. Okay, trying to get these noodles. Mm. Listen, I know that salads and soups don't make for the, the most popular mukbangs, but sofrito lovers, you know, take what you can get, damn it. Um, <laughs> I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in hours, which again is not good. I should be eating every two to three hours, a little something. But sometimes it's difficult to sit down and have a snack when you're dealing with all the stuff that these kids put you through. So work is great. I'm uh, I'm not doing as fine as I wish I was, but I am. Look at this nice piece of steak. Look at this. Mm. I'm not as good as I'm supposed to be, but I'm getting there. And I'm very focused. And I've had really good blood sugar the last two weeks. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buckle down and keep it up. They're putting me on some of these miracle diabetic drugs. I'm going to be picking up some new prescriptions. You know, you know all the diabetes drugs, uh, except that you may not know them as diabetes drugs because they're being marketed as weight loss drugs. You guys know what I'm talking about. Believe it or not, all those drugs that the celebrities are taking to lose weight, they're actually diabetic, diabetic medication. which happens to have a great little side effect of helping people lose weight and curb appetite. So I'm gonna be trying all that good stuff. But other than my health, things are going great, you know. I've been in contact with my partner, David. He's uh, in Florida right now. I've told you guys he's working on a play. Today is, what is it, Wednesday the 6th? In about three weeks, I'll be heading out there. Heading down there to Florida to see him. So, yeah, three weeks. Technically, I catch the flight Thursday morning at 7 a.m., which means I need to get to the airport by 5, which means I need to leave the Bronx by like 3.30, 4 o'clock. So it'll be one of those nights where I, I get home from work I'll be awake for a little bit, maybe have dinner, chill, finish off whatever packing I have to do, despite the fact that whenever I travel, I pack like one or two days before I go. Are, are you guys one of those people? I pack. I know I got to go somewhere on Friday. I'm already done packing by Wednesday night. That's just me. And once I pack, I'm like, oh, I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> So I'm really good at packing early, but then once I packed early, I want to leave. And I'm like, no, it, uh, you don't leave for another two days, Ben. You can't leave right now. You're packed. It's just for me, it's like I'm packed. I'm ready to go. Look, 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 some good ramen. Mm. Good hot ramen. Ooh. Washing it down. Some Coke Zero. Zero sugar, zero carbs. That's why I can have this much. It's not regular soda. Zero sugar and diet sodas don't have the same type of effect on you. If this was a whole thing of regular Coke, full of that sugar and full of those carbs, forget about it. It'd be diabetic migraine city for me. Mm. Mm. Oh, love me some Coke Zero. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So yeah, two, three weeks from tonight, and it's gonna be, I probably am not gonna sleep. I'm flying down to Virginia, no, I'm sorry, North Carolina. I think, North or South Carolina. One of those, I'm going down to one of the Carolinas. Um, for like a two hour layover. It's gonna take me two hours to get there, two hour layover, and then fly from there straight to um, Fort Myers. Mm. So all in all, it'll be six hours of traveling. About four, four hours and 45 minutes flying, give or take an hour and something, close to two hours of a layover. So the great thing is I'm leaving super early. I'm gonna be getting into Florida midday. And then I'll be there for a couple of days. 
In fact, technically, I'm going to go see David over Easter weekend because I'll be leaving Thursday. It'll be Good Friday, Holy Saturday, Easter, Easter Monday, and then Tuesday morning I fly out back to New York City. I do not like flying. I hate flying. I'm a nervous flyer. And on top of that, I'm flying by myself. So... The less I think about it, the better. I may need one of my doctors to write me a prescription for something. I don't like flying. One day I'll tell you about the plane crash I was in or the plane crash that almost happened that I was in. I don't even want to talk about it right now because I have a flight in three weeks. <laughs> mm. Soup and salad for dinner. So, Brito lovers, it is amazing what you can do with leftovers. Repurpose these leftovers into something delicious. Mmm, this salad is banging. It's banging, it's fire, it's lit. Mmm. It's got a great little Italian dressing that David likes to make. It's like one of those Hidden Valley or Bird's Eyes. One of those companies that makes, you know, powdered salad dressing that you have to add like oil, water, and vinegar to. But it is dope. Especially with winter greens. I hate lettuce. I am a confirmed lettuce hater. I only like eating lettuce if I can eat lettuce with other things. But when it's a salad, lettuce is kind of the main deal. So I don't like it, but I love baby greens. I love winter greens. I love spring greens. I used to like spinach a lot more. I don't like spinach as much. I like it though when I buy those boxes, those bags or those little containers that have like 50% uh, spinach, 50% winter greens. Those I love. I just like the bitter taste of greens more than I do that vegetal flavor that lettuce has. You know, there's some recipes where you have to cook lettuce. I'm like, ugh, who eats cooked lettuce? It's nasty when it's raw. I just am not a big lettuce fan. And not all lettuces. Mo iceberg lettuce and some green lettuces are just gross to me. I have to admit I like baby butter lettuce. I like radicchio. I like stuff like that. Mm. Hot ramen. The bottom of the bowl is hot ramen. Whew. Ah, so Frito lovers, the steak ramen is amazing. You guys know me. I always finish things off camera. I just wanted to touch base with you guys that you know, you know, I'm fighting. I'm doing, I'm going to be doing better. You're going to be some, seeing some changes in content. Stick around, it's gonna be good. Listen, go out there, go taste for yourself, go have some culinary adventures. I'm sitting crisscross applesauce and my feet are going super numb. <laughs> go out there, go have some culinary adventures. Como siempre, mucho, mucho, mucho amor.